Hi, I'm Morton Gas Pedersen, and you're watching Rubbish Chat. Hello, and welcome back to the Rubbish Chat YouTube channel. I'm back from Bradford. I've just been watching Rovers as we win 2 1 in the second round of the Carabao Cup and progress through to the third round for the first time since 2018. So far, I've just come on, have a look at the match, see who impressed, who didn't, and just go from there. Before I start, two things. First thing, hit subscribe and hit like. You know, it helps a lot when people subscribe and like and follow and do all that stuff. Second one is to vote for us in the Football Content Awards. You can do that just down below in the description. So make sure you go and, you know, vote for us. So Rovers, I mean, we dominated really early on and it kind of felt like when would we score? But suddenly, you know, Bradford go up the other end. Tyre Wedden don't get close enough to his man, I don't feel. And the ball across is just put on by Andy Cook, who we know is, you know, he's a decent striker. At, well, really at League One level if he needed to be, but he's playing in League Two. Good striker, you can't give him that room, he'll put the chances away. And then Bradford kind of dominated afterwards, and it were a worry of are we going to concede again? And you know, does it go two, does it go three nil? And then you're out of the game and you're out the cup. But Rovers responded well, and we were ahead by half time, really. I think the first goal was really well worked. I'm not sure who flicked it over, but it were a one two. He flicked it over to the winger, and the winger come inside and pulled it back for Dak. And Dak doesn't miss them chances. That's where Dak makes his money, that's where he got known for in League One and even the Championship when he were back so we know how good he is with that and then uh, the Mark and Day goal which again were really good play Jack Vale I thought had a really good game he strolled forward played the ball to Mark and Day Mark and Day just slipped on so you know two one up and we could have had three or four come in the second half but we didn't and Bradford attacked and attacked and then you get Louis Annesley on his debut making a goal saving block in the 95th minute which is great to see another academy product making a debut continuing Uncle Jack's legacy I think it's a massive thing for this club and all the investment that goes into the academy so it's much deserved that debut and hopefully there's a few more you know as we go on to the third round and onwards we don't know where we'll get obviously at this stage but it's just nice to see the academy coming through and in terms of Bradford, I think they offered a bit. You can see why they're going to be League Two contenders because they were obviously playing a better side than them, but you see why they're going to be up there in League Two and I think they'll be a really good outfit going forward. Now it's on to Stoke on Saturday. Obviously, a big game. Rovers need to get back to winning ways in the league. It'll be a strong side out on Saturday. Maybe a few that feature today. Dax done himself no harm. Tyler Morton at centre-back, I thought, was excellent. Uh, Louis the JRC, I thought they a really good game and he were my man of the match actually, the way you were getting up and down the right hand side. Uh, Morton and Garrett, uh, Wharton and Garrett, sorry, in the midfield were really good. Took him a bit to get into it, but the tough tackling were excellent and the applause Garrett got when he was coming off were great right in front of the fans. Uh, Dolan, energetic, really switched it on after a slow start and Mark and they obviously scored, that scored and Jack Vale were really unlucky not to get it all, so... Good performance all round. Rovers head into the next round of the FA, uh, next round of the Carabao Cup. Sorry, third round of the draw. I think will be Wednesday night. So tonight when this goes out, but we'll just wait and see if we get out. There's a lot of teams in it. There's certain teams that people want. I'm happy with a draw against someone that we've never been to or a home tie. But we'll wait and see. I'm sure we'll have a live stream to cover that. But until then, hit subscribe, hit like, do all the stuff for the FCAs, and we'll be back again for a new video very soon. Thanks for watching.